Okay, good morning, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today reviewing the play of the day, which is P. Still actually even have the room open. Why? Because I'm still in a train, which is very unusual for me. It's 11.06 on a Friday. Ooh, when I say Friday at 11.06, that really sounds weird. Is it, is it October 13th? No, it's October 30th. I didn't even change the calendar. <gasps> Let's quickly do that. Okay, I did that. Uh, so this was a continuation gap. It's just one of these ones that has paid and paid and paid and paid and paid if you traded this in the right direction with the correct entries ever since the day of the gap. In fact, it was a week ago. A week ago today, this dropped off the planet. It opened and swooshed. It dropped $1.50 from the entry. It was an amazing trade and really went to the dream target right away, which is very, very rare. If things can go to the dream target, but to go there right away, that's rare. I like the weakness in it. I called it as a swing trade. When I saw the way this traded in here, I really, really liked it. Shorted this on the afternoon as a late trade on the day of the 27th. Forgot about it here. And then yesterday I was looking for something and brought it up again. And then I remembered it today because of yesterday. And I really felt that this was gonna break 11.50 any second. And I'm still in a portion of this trade. Actually, I've, I've traded this today in, a, in, a, in an unusual way, but it's worked out where I book money, book money, book money, and added back. It's cost average my price down, but since I lowered the stop, it's, it's not gonna matter. I can't lose in this now. Very aggressive here. I shorted this up here at 12.09. Put the stop at 12.25, okay? because I didn't know if this would hold the high here. It did, it did and it broke 12 like immediately. Then it broke the low from yesterday, immediately. And then I added actually in the break of 12 and here I added and then it dropped. And then I did end up getting out of some half, rallied back. Here's where we did the add again, dropped, got out of a little bit of it, not the whole half, rallied back again, I think I even got out of, yeah, I got out of some in here, I think, too. Anyways, to make a long story short, I'm back in this with 6,000 shares, which is a good amount. If this breaks uh, 1150, I think it goes to 11, I think it goes to 1130, 1125, $11. I think 1125 is 100% realistic. It's 25 cents under the low of the gap, but it could really go to 11. The problem is that I don't know the time of that to happen, and now it's 1108. So I lowered the stop for everything now over 75. I can't lose in it. I've already booked a good amount of money on the day. And actually, I actually, um, what was I gonna say? Well, if, if I get stopped out of this, I'm just seeing this now here, I'll be break even. Here's my, here's my P&L, there. So I actually, I'm up this, oops, where did it go? But, so I'm up, oh, I keep, this is so hard, here. Ready to go. So that's when I'm up, but oh, this thing has got to be fixed. But if I get stopped out, I'll be break even on this trade, but I'll still be up 2,600 on the day. I can live with that. So this is worth it. So let's just figure out if it does go to 11, how much I'll be up. I always like to do that in my mind to see if it's worth it. So 74 times 6,000. It's 44.40 plus the 2,600 I'm up would be $7,000. <gasps> I'm staying with it. Here, I just figured it out right now. If this goes to $11, I'll make $7,000 today in this trade that has paid me more than anything this whole entire month. I've made more money in this this whole entire month than anything. And if it goes $11 to make, I'll, I'll make $7,000. And worst case scenario, it doesn't. I'll just kill it at break even. I have to stop at 75, but I don't really even need to have it at 75. I could have it at 73 or 74. I could put it at 72. I don't think it goes anywhere over 70, but we'll see. Right now I have it at 75. My cost average price though is 74 because I added and it took out and added and it took out and just added again. But I like it. I have a doctor's appointment though at three o'clock today. So this is the one. This was the good one of all the ones in the last week. I love the weakness in P. It has not mattered a hoot what the market has done at all this entire week. And it has been a bullish week in the market. Even though it seems like it's not because we haven't really gone anywhere with the rally, we are bullish. We're holding bullish. The confirmation is we're bullish. And shorting this week, you had to pick the right thing. 
And, and there was a lot of things that actually gapped down this week, and not all of them worked because of the market. That isn't the case, but because of the fact the market gave the confirmation it was higher this week, even though I knew it all along, to everyone else then it really did. And then people just were not selling out of things the way they normally would. And that was part of the problem with the shorts this week. But P didn't have an issue with that at all. And I made money a lot of days in this in the last week. So we'll see where we end up with P. We're watching the 15 minute chart. This looks like a breakdown play now. Stop is over this little bar right here. It's gonna have to set up in the 15 minute. Here's the 30. Here's the 60. It's gotta break 55. There's nothing stopping this though. And I could care less what the market does. This is 100% on its own. So you could do this right here with a stop at 75 with 10 cents. You could wait for 59 by 75. You could do 55 by 75. Either way, target's $11 or wherever it falls. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in more information about the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at the StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everyone.